Hello, this is Scott. And I haven't vlogged in a, in a very long time, and uh, I'm sorry for that. But uh, you know, you just get caught up doing different things, and you know, uh, let stuff slip away. But uh, I'm gonna be doing more videos in the future, so uh, you know, please stay tuned. But uh, right now, we decided to do a uh, a little pizza tour here of the area where I grew up, which is northeastern Pennsylvania. It's referred to as the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. And what that area is, this area is very famous for is its pizza places. We call them uh, pizzerias. And there's uh, different type. We're going to visit uh, three pizza places up here. And one of them, uh, the first place that we, we're here is Sabatini's. We're going to show you around. And we're also going to go to uh, another place called Pizza Lovin', which is basically like a fried pizza dough. It's really cool. It's, and there's, uh, we're going to go to a place in Old Forge. It's called Ravello's. And there's a, a type of pizza up here. It's referred to as Old Forge style pizza. And what they do is they, they, they bake it on a, they, they, in, on a tray. And it, when you buy pizza up here, you, they refer to it as, by, you know, by the tray. I want a, I want a tray of pizza instead of, a, you know, a pizza pie. We don't up here in Northeast PA. They, they never called it growing up anyway. We never called it uh, getting a, a pie, a lar like a large pie. You would say, I want a large tray of pizza. So we're gonna, we're gonna. It's very unique. What's great about this area too is. These pizza uh, pizzerias up here, they're generational. They they are literally like four or five generations of, of family family owned uh, businesses, which is in today's world that's that, that's rare. You know, it, this is all uh, this is coal country. A lot of p people came to this area for the coal mine. It's anthracite coal region, and uh, it's really known for uh, its it's pizza and other uh, restaurants. It's food. Very, very, a lot of famous restaurants up here in this area. So, all right. So, we're gonna we're gonna come. We're gonna check it out. All right. So we got we got our menus here, and uh, you know, check so check it out. Here they have. All right. So they be ordered by small, medium, or large. So, you know, there's the prices there, $10.95. So they also have what's really popular in this area as well as white pizza. So uh, we may try that. Uh, uh, we're not going to try the white pizza here, but uh, we're going to try it at a different place. And uh, and there's there's your different menu uh, items here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh-huh. You got, you know, soups and appetizers. Yeah, awesome red birch beer. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember the, this is my cousin Leslie, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, uh, I can remember, uh, you know, before we before we place our order, uh, coming here. This is a very popular place when we were younger, right, Leslie? Yeah, very. And um, this was a place to be. It was. Uh, yeah. So it, it was. Uh, we would come here after Friday night football games. Uh, Friday night uh, in, in Pennsylvania, it was very, very, very popular high school football. We would come here after the game, and, and along with everybody else, and we would just pack this place and hang out and uh, and have pizza, and, and uh, it was a, it was a great time. So. They right. have great pepperoni pizza here because yep. they chop it in little tiny pieces. It's not like oh, just okay. round it's not, pieces. It's I like chopped it. up really small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite? What's your favorite here? I like the thick extra sauce or just the plain pizza. <laughs> what are you going to get? What do you want to do? Well, I have the kids. All right. All right. Okay. Wait, all right. wait kids. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, but, what, what, but so what are you gonna so get then? Maybe half pepperoni and half plain. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we're gonna go. I'm just gonna go with. We're gonna go with the traditional large pizza. And uh, and what we get also we're gonna get. I want to get the red birch beer. I think I'm thinking leaning towards it. So. All right, so stay tuned. You want to show off the pepperoni? Okay. Here, here it is. Here we go. We this is a large pie. That's the pepperoni chopped up. You kind of see that. it. Look at that, huh? Pepperonis. Yeah, and look at them. All right, let's let's look underneath. Look at that. Look at that. Look how great that is. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. Okay, let me pick it up. Okay, you see underneath? 
This pizza is really good. It's like a, it's got like a smoky taste, right? If I remember, right? Yeah. I haven't had, I haven't had it in years, a very long time. This is your favorite? This is your oh, favorite pizza? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, it's great. Okay. All right, here we go. We got the pepperoni. Here we go, first bite. This is the first bite of Sabatini's pizza that I've had. Over 20 years. Wow. Over 20 years. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 There you go. It's still the same. Yeah. I, it, it's, it is. I'm not. I'm not it lying. Is. It's it still is the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> I like the. It's got like a. Like a like a. I like the taste of the dough. I love the taste of the dough. It's, yeah. like, it's got like a like almost like a smoky taste, right? Yeah. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> this is good stuff. The sauce is it's it's the sauce. It's a very very well, it's, I got sweet. very sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Nice cheese blend. You can see. Okay. Mozzarella. Uh, definitely mozzarella. There might be a little cheddar in there too. I can't remember. But I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy a couple of these slices. I tell you that. All right. We uh we. Basically ate almost half of the pizza, and I tell you, I, I can I can literally sit here and eat this this whole entire uh, pizza, but but I don't want to because we got two other places that we need to go to, so we're gonna take this home with us. But uh, you know, I'm gonna give out a shout out to a guy that uh, that I really like watching. It's called the Northeast uh, Pizza Review, and he uh, really goes around the Northeast Pennsylvania here and goes to different uh, pizza places and. You should check out his channel. So uh, he's, he's, he's really good as well. I just wanted to give him a, a, a shout out. But uh, so this is Sabatini's. This is this is our first stop. Any any comments, Les? What do you think? It was delicious as yeah. always. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I, it was really good. Very yeah. sweet sauce. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit all amazing. Yes, amazing. Yes, said amazing. Yeah. The kids say it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go on to our next one. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> really good. All right, one of the things that Sabatini's also has here is a um, bottle shop. There you go. And a lot. Uh, how many? All well, different beers they have. Tons of beers. Thousands. Yeah, micro brewery. You know. <laughs> Micro beers. They, they have they have T-shirts. Uh, really cool. So you know, if you're into uh, beers and ales and all kinds of stuff, IPAs. Yeah. And they all like mm -hmm. Do they? And, and they light they light up with stuff like fire, okay. gas fires, yeah. torches. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. On a busy street. <laughs> yeah. So and you, you can get a lot of these. Beer is also uh, in the, uh, you know, in the pizzeria. Uh, a lot of these beers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the Game of Thrones thing. That's cool. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh wow! Look at this. Check this out. Look at this for twelve, for twelve ninety nine. This would be a great, great gift item. Twelve ninety five. Let's see, let's see if we can look at it. You open it up and look what it's, you know, look what it has inside of it. Huh. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty cool. Four cans of beer. You know, that's pretty cool. You know? Little cakes. Look at this. Look at these things. For $24.95, you can get, it's like a, a mini, mini cake. Like a, whatever you want to. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the size of those bottles up yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think if you're a beer lover, this is the place to be. So, and it's uh, owned by Sabatini's. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is new. We never saw it before. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, but Leslie, is this popular? Very popular? Is it? Yeah? Yeah. You come here? Excellent. Okay. And you can eat your two pizzas and run it over. Okay. All right. Okay. And they have a, they also have the uh, they have a bar as well. 
Pretty cool. Mm. All right. Okay. Yeah, the bar's over yeah, here. Alright. Alright, pretty neat. Alright, now we're at Pizza Lovin'. This is a uh, different style. This is uh it's like a fried pizza. They they what they do is they fry the the crust of the pizza. It's real crispy and we'll we'll we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll show you. Uh, but totally different than probably anything that you've ever had. There's I know of three pizza places around here that are very similar to this this style. The, uh, this place uh, Pizza Perfect, which is in Trucksville, and also the, uh, which is kind of a famous place. It's called Victory Pig, and it's in uh, 44. So uh, we're close by to this place, so we figured we'd stop by and, uh, and check this out. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. This is the menu. And what we ordered was the 14 cut full tray for 1862. Okay. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah, better. Okay. Yeah. Better. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, and there's all the things that they have. There's the appetizers. Now, remember how I was saying uh, early on about how they call it a tray? And that's how you get a seven cut half tray, right? 931, and then they have the 14 cut full tray, which is what we got for 1862. Because <laughs> the reason why we're getting so much is because we, we want to bring some home with us and I uh, have other friends uh, give it a shot. But I think the next place that we go to, we're gonna, we're gonna order the white pizza. We're gonna try, we're gonna give that a shot as well. So, which is, like I said, very famous up here as well. So, this is a different type of pizza. So, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this. I haven't had it in a long time, so. And there's okay. stuff on the back too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Wings. Thanks. Yeah, the wings. Wings are good up here as well. Mm-hmm. There you go. All kinds of different stuff. But you don't come here for the other stuff, you come here for the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we just got our tray of pizza and it looks it looks delicious. Look at this. Look at look at how nice this pizza looks. Look at this. It's like I'm gonna grab a corner. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna grab look, they give you they give you a nice little place. Okay? I'm gonna grab it, okay? Look at this. It's like a fried pizza dough. I think what they they fry it on the tray in a uh, in peanut oil. Okay? So we have like, it's like a cheddar. I don't know if they put brick cheese on this or not, but look, look at the bottom of that. Oh, it, it, it's very light and fluffy. Almost like a, it feels like, like a, like bread. Like, like almost like a garlic bread type of texture, but very light and, and, and you know, crunchy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've, no, I've had this pizza. It's been a long time, you know, probably a little hot. I probably let it cool down a little bit. But just, I just wanted you to take a look at it. You know, this is, um, this is really good. Yeah, any comments, Sarah? And I can't wait to bite into it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna bite into it. Here we go, my first bite. Describe it. Very crunchy, crust, um, crispy, mm -hmm. light, light and crispy. The cheese blend is incredible. It's very sweet. The sauce is really sweet. I can eat. I can eat this pizza. I can eat this pizza every day long. The cheese is all there. Yeah. I can eat this pizza every single day. I really can. And this root, I don't think you can get this pizza anywhere else besides Northeast Pennsylvania. So, okay, we're gonna give it some more bites. All right, it's a re it's a re I grabbed one of the uh, you know the middle pieces, and it's you know it's re it's you know re rectangle pizza. You know? They called it Sicilian. It's a, right. Yeah. Uh huh. This is a different Sicilian than if you were to go like New York and go Correct. Totally different, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Is this your your favorite style, Sarah? I don't know. I like, I like sabatinis too. Yeah? Yeah? Uh-huh. This is I don't know. I, I don't know if I have a favorite because they're so different than that it's not like you're comparing just a regular mm -hmm. New York style slice to some other New York style. Yeah. Like it's yeah. different styles. Different even, right. I gotcha. Right. I would say now I've been to Pizza Perfect. I've been, you know, I've been to Victory Pig, but it's been a very long time, and I haven't been here in a very long time. This, uh, the, the dough is like it's more uh, like light. It's, it's uh, what was the word? I, what was the word I, I used to describe the dough? Puffy, more puffy, yeah. pu more puffy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, like it, it rised a little higher. Yeah. The dough rised a little more than uh, the Pizza Perfect dough, which is, you know, you know, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just I'm just making an observation. But it's, this is delicious. I can, uh, I can eat a lot of this for sure, definitely. But I got I got to save room in my stomach for the next place. But you know, this is very unique. I'm gonna take a bite here. Oh, see the see how light it is. You know, it's like bread. The bubbles. The butt right. The butt right. The see that? Yeah. Uh huh. Look at that. It's like bread, and it's it, but it's you know, it's, but it's not bread. Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm. Now we're at our, our final destination. This is Ravel's Pizza, and it's been here since 1967. And this is referred to as Old Forge Style Pizza. Uh, kind of a little similar to where we were just at at Pizza Lovin', but uh, uh, you know, you, you, it's I, not you know, fried. It's not fried. Yeah, you, we'll, we'll show you. But uh, they refer to Old Forge as the pizza capital of the world. And we're going to show you. They have a sign here, right? Is it that? Welcome to, this is Old Forge, Pennsylvania, the pizza capital of the world. And you can Google that and you'll, you'll find some uh, very interesting articles on how Old Forge is. And a lot of people say, well, why do they call it the pizza capital of the world? I think it's because basically on, this is about almost every street corner, well, we there is a, there here. is a pizzeria. There's one over there. Yeah. For Cara and Janelle. Yeah. There's lots of them. We passed a whole bunch. Right? Um, yep. Yeah. All right, so let's... Okay. Is this the entrance? I think so. Let's All give right, it a shot. Let's go. You can see it? Yeah. All right, this is the menu. You have the red. You can order it by the cut. You can, what's great here, you don't, yeah, you can just order it by the cut, which is a one, one, you know, it's not really a slice, they call it a cut. A uh, dollar twenty-five, or you can get 12 cuts for 14 15 it's the rectangle, it, like at the last place. There you go. Yes, yeah. and they have white pizza too, which is we're gonna show you the white pizza, which is very famous up this way, like I was telling you earlier. Uh, okay. And they have other things. Uh huh. Salads, Italian food. Mm hmm. And then like appetizers. Yeah, and then let's flip the menu over. All right. And beverages. And beverages. Yeah. It's like Hillary Clinton uh, paid a stop here at some time, some point. You know? Yeah. Uh, 50 years they've been in business. Yep. Well, actually, no, more than that. Yeah. All right, we're here at Ravello's. And we, we have here is we have the red. Okay. Here's your red slice. And it's got uh, the brick cheese on top. Okay. It's not fried. You're right. See the bottom? It's not fried. It's not fried. Okay. All right. And here is the white. And it's double crusted. And it's just very famous, I guess would be the word. Right? The white pizza. Right, Mom? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, this has been, uh, they brought the white pizza out first. And it's been sitting here. So it's not, it's not hot. But uh, we just, I wanted to show both side by side before, before we ate them. It looks, it looks great. And the cheese is running yeah. off the red slices over yeah. the Yeah. Yeah, it's real good. You know, different. Um, 
Yeah. You know what the what do we have? What kind of spice blend do we have on here? Oregano. That oregano. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we have Chef Mom and Chef Dad yeah. with us. Yeah. All right. So, what should I try first? What do you think? What do you think, Chef Mom? What should I go with first? What do you think? I would go with the white because it's it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter to me. Here we go. All right. Let's give it a shot. Clean up that cheese. Wow. Mm. wow, a lot of cheese in the middle. A lot of cheese in the middle. And that, is that the brick cheese as well? Yeah. Everything is brick cheese here. Yeah. It's good. I like it. Minor league baseball games. Oh, they, oh, okay, that's a good point. They're, they have a, a, you know, we're up in Old Fort. Um, they have a minor league baseball, triple, triple, they're a triple A baseball team the for the New York Yankees, and they're called the Scranton Wilkesboro right. Real right. Riders, right? There you go. Here's their logo. All right, show that. Mm -hmm. So they serve this pizza uh, at the ballpark. So a lot of the players that come in from different areas. Oh yeah, they stop here. They love it and they comment on it about it all the time on this pizza. Okay, so here we go. Let me try the red. Oh, oh, I love the red. They go nuts over it. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Wow, the the, the you know what makes this. I mean, this is my first time having this. I've had old porch style pizza before. This is my first time having this, uh, Ravello's. Listen to my bite. Like, watch this. I don't know if you can hear, it's, it's uh, very, very crispy, the crust. That's what that's what makes this pizza, is the, cru is the crust. It's, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And you, you know what? It kind of reminds me of a little bit. The cru the crust. What? It's like uh, like uh, Savos. Similar. Oh, maybe. You know, in, in mm -hmm. Pittston. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. Yeah. The the because when you bite into it, it's literally like crunchy. Yes. Like oh, um, like a grilled cheese sandwich. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a good description. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a grilled cheese sandwich. Right? This is good. No, this is delicious. This is, this is real good. Wow. I, I love that. Wow. Okay. Sarah's trying to wait. You like it? Go ahead. Sandwich, yeah. Itself, yeah. The, the, it's got, the white. It's got the crust on the top and the crust on the bottom. The bottom, yeah. And it's all cheese in the middle. Okay. It's kind of like an Italian grilled cheese sandwich because it's got. Yeah. Italian yeah, yeah. There you go. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. I'll try. The red. Wait until you try the red. I, I can't wait to. The, the, I want I wanted a description. Give me the load down. Very crunchy. That's what sticks to your teeth a little, but Yeah. Sauce is good. Light and crunchy. Mm -hmm. That's because it's a type of cheese. And it's not mozzarella because then it's crunchy. Right, correct. That's how you know it's not mozzarella. That's right. It, it, yeah. That's what makes it, Sarah? Like, what, what, like, really sticks out? The crust. The crust. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's phenomenal. But a lot of players, the baseball players, say what they're going to miss most about this area. Yeah. Is Ravello's pizza. R really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I guess well, they didn't want to sell the recipe. No, I didn't say sell it, but maybe expand. I think they're busy enough between busy, baseball I, games uh, and I got gotcha. you. Okay. Right. They, yeah, this place gets packed, it's right? It's a family. It's a family. And business. it's been for like a long time. Years. Okay. Yeah. And they're making enough money. Right. You know what, uh, Mom, describe the, uh, hold it here, Sarah, here, you take the camera for a second and put it on me. Here. Describe the, uh, oh, that's on really good. Mom doesn't want the camera on her, but that's fine. But, uh, uh describe the, uh, the area. Like anthracite, or, okay, like the what generations is, and everything. What yeah. it is, is we were in, we are in the anthracite region, mm -hmm. and years ago, coal was the, was the fuel. Right, right. Supply, supply for everyone, uh, it was coal. So the Chamber of Commerce did not want to bring any industry in here because then it would take the miners away. Okay. All right. All right. And they needed the miners, and that's how it, that's how it is here. Okay. So it's, they're all coal mining towns. Right. Very ethnic, though. One Very town, ethnic. One town is all Italian. Another yeah. town is all Russian. They all stuck together. They yeah. all like glue. You know, all of their relatives were in the same vicinity. Okay. All the Italians were in the same vicinity. The Irish. Right. So I went down the line. Yeah. And that's the type the of area it is. Yeah, the churches is what, right? Right. Yeah. And the thing is, each town has their cooks, their ethnic foods. And it just stayed here. It and they didn't. stayed here, didn't yeah. move. So you have the Italians doing the Italian cuisine. Okay. You have the Russians, uh, you have the Pol Polish people doing their piggies and their halukis. Yeah. You know. So, uh, so with that being said, what... Because of that, they haven't moved out. It's literally like a a, a, a foodie's paradise. Yes, it is. Up here, you can yeah. you can get any ethnic food, true ethnic food, yeah. true, homemade. Everything is all yeah, homemade. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Right here in this region, whatever you want. That's true. The bazaars. The bazaars. Oh, they, they, all have, they get big. They each got big town ones. has the bazaars, yeah. and of course, they their specialty, the churches, their, and they cook yeah. their specialty. And they, have, they also have like um, the, the in Pittston, the tomato uh, festival, tomato fest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's huge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everything. So. And the potato pancake lines. Yeah. Are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They stretch around the block. Yeah. Everybody loves the potato pancakes. Are you gonna so, finish this? Uh. I'm, I, I, yeah, I probably will, but oh. <laughs> I'm still I'm too busy talking here. But uh, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I miss it around here. I don't really get up here as often as, as, as I would like. I think that's that's going to change. And uh, you know, uh, but uh, you know, the the pizza. Once you grow up on the pizza, and I, I think a lot of people out there uh, who are watching this, hopefully, can you know can. Uh, they live around here. When you go elsewhere for pizza, no, never. right? Right. It it's not. It's, it's not the same. Well, it's, they, yeah. they at one time they said that this area was the pizza capital of the world. Well, there's a sign outside that says yeah. that. Oh, there is. Yeah, Old Forge. You're right. Yeah, pizza and they've had capital. they've had national news articles like in USA Today about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Now my cousin yeah. lived right outside of New York City. She lived in New Jersey. Okay. And she and I, just two years ago, we were at Rehoboth Beach and we started arguing over whose pizza was better, <laughs> Jersey yeah. or... So she had learned that a gentleman that owned one of these pizza places mm -hmm. expanded out to Rehoboth Beach. Okay. So they put a, a pizza place there. From here. From here. All right. So I said, we're going there. And it was jam-packed. Jam packed. She ate the pizza. She just, and he, she hated to admit it to me. Uh huh. <laughs> she says, She's like, the, the, and she says, "What's the only place out. she goes for pizza?" How about that? Yes. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And there's, Dad, you said that in northeastern Pennsylvania, there's got to be how many pizzerias? At least five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's big around. It's huge. Yeah. People come in. From Stratton to Nanny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nanny Coke, that's when you start getting the 
Polish, Polish, right. Polish yeah. people, and, mm-hmm. and that's where the potato pancakes and the piggies oh, and the all the potato pancakes. That all comes in. Oh, I have a vlog on that too, by the way. So if you go, if you uh, sort of, if you, you know, uh, we uh, we did a vlog on potato on your potato pancakes. It's really great. So. You know, but I think, but you know, let me let me try to wrap this up a little bit here. But you know, I think the most important thing is to go out with your you know family and friends. And if you ever get up here to Northeast PA, when you know you're coming through here, make sure you know like Philadelphia is known for their cheese steaks, right? Yes. Philly cheese, there you know, okay. Uh, Northeast PA is known for their pizza. Mm-hmm. All right. Absolutely. Right. So, all right. So you know, uh, and we've shown the three different. We types have. in this vlog we yeah we have right so the people we'll, yeah we'll try to you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to start doing some more pizza vlogs like this uh for everybody out there uh so uh definitely more to come and you know if you you know if you love pizza definitely you know hit the subscribe button hit the like button make a comment let us know what your favorite pizza place is you know in the in northeast pa so or, or elsewhere. So, all right, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I improved the quality of your happiness.